Hello friends, welcome back to circlevideo.com. Myself Ramakrishna Sharma. So in this chapter, that is design of beams, we are going to expect 26 marks. So this chapter is very useful for diploma students and also B B Tech students. So let us see. So what is meant by a beam? So what is a beam? Unlike your uh, all your structural elements like columns, footings, slab, etc. So even beam is also one of the important structural element even if it is an RCC structure or a DSS structure beams is one of the most important structural element so let us see what is a beam so beam is a structural member which is subjected to bending moment and shear force due to effect of transverse loading so what is the meaning of this for example for example if this is a beam for example if this is a beam it is simply supported for example if this is a beam which is simply supported If I want to apply a load on a beam, what happens? The beam is going to do some action, right? Against this load, it may bend or there will be a flexure in the beam. So this, there will be a deflection in the beam. We can also solve bending moment and also shear force so this bending movement and shear force you have seen in your second year isn't it so whereas in steel structures we are going to use different formulas for calculation of this shear force and bending movement so a roof truss in roof truss this beam is also called as a pallin members in the case of a roof truss for example if this is a roof truss the beam in a roof truss, for example, if this is a roof truss, so the beam of a roof truss is called as which members? Parallel members. So these are called as parallel members. So the load is perpendicular to the axis of the beam the low is perpendicular to the axis of the beam which means it is going to act 90 degrees it is going to act 90 degrees with the beam so classification of section so beams are classified into three types so beams are classified into how many types three types so what are they plastic section or class 1 section compact section or class 2 section semi plastic section or class 3 section so in your columns you have seen buckling class a buckling class b buckling class c and buckling class d in your compression members isn't it so in similar fashion even beams are also classified into three types that is plastic section or class 1 compact section or class 2 semi-plastic section or class 3 so how we are going to classify a beam so based upon specifications given by IS 800 2007 table number 2 so table number 2 from your IS 800 2007 code work so if you observe this the first column consists of compression element second column consists of ratio and third column consists of class of a section Again in class of a section, again we are going to have three different columns for this class 1 plastic, 
class 2 compact class 3 semi compact so based upon what ratio we are going to classify this section so based upon b by tf which means half of the width of the flange to the thickness of the flange see for example if this is our i section or if this is a beam if this is a beam So this is called as depth of the beam. This is called as width of the beam or width of the eye section. This is called as thickness of the flange. This is called as thickness of the web. So based upon half of the based upon half of the based upon half of the width of the beam to thickness of the flange and and d by t tf sorry tw which means depth of the beam minus two times of thickness of the flange divided by thickness of the flange this thickness of the flange so which means which means total depth total depth minus two times of half of the depth two times of half of the depth divided by thickness of the flange so based upon these two values we are going to classify the section by using table number two table number two see for roll section this is b by tf b by tf if b by tf if b by tf is less than 9.4 into sigma where sigma is equal to under root of 250 by f where f is nothing but yield stress or grade of steel grade of steel so if b by tf is less than 9.4 then the section is classified as plastic section or class 1 if, this, if b by tf is greater than 9.4 and less than 10.5 then the section is classified as class 2 compact section if b by tf ratio is greater than 10.5 and less than 15.75 then a section is classified as semi compact section so along with this again we have to follow axial compression so I, first one is roll section second one is axial compression so the formula for this is sorry not axial compression you have to go follow you have to use neutral axis at mid depth that is d by tw so d by tw is nothing but depth minus two times of thickness of the flange divided by thickness of the web so if it is less than equal to 84 then the section again is classified as plastic section if d by tw is greater than 84 and less than 1.5 or not 5 then the section is classified as compact section if d by tw ratio is greater than 105 and less than 126 then the section is classified as semi compact section i'll explain you again so a beam is classified based upon two ratios the first ratio is b by t where b is nothing but half of the width of the flange divided by tf if it is less than 9.4 into sigma then section is class 1 if b by 2 times divided by tf is less than next case what is that 10.5 10.5 into sigma then the section is classified as class 2 if the same ratio is less than 15.7 into sigma then the section is classified as class 3 where sigma is equal to under root of 250 by f by not only by using this b by 2f we can also use d by tw 
where d by 2w is nothing but depth of the section minus 2 times of thickness of the flange divided by dw. If this value is less than 84 into sigma, then the section is classified as class 1 section or plastic section. If the same formula is greater than 84 times of sigma and less than 105, less than 105, then the section is classified as class 2. The same value is greater than 105 and less than and less than 126 and less than 126 and less than 126 times of sigma then the section is classified as class 3 where sigma is equal to under root of 250 divided by f so by using these two formulas how to classify the section whether it is class a or plastic class 2 this class 1 is called as plastic section this class 2 is called as compact section class 3 is called as semi compact section so class 1 is plastic class 2 is compact class 3 is semi compact so the next important concept that is bending moment and design shear strength so in strength of materials we have seen a beam that is simply supported and a point load is acting at the center of the beam so the, the simple formula for shear force is nothing but w by 2 and minus w whereas for bending moment simply it is w l by 4 isn't it so this is shear force diagram and this is bending moment diagram so whereas in dss the design bending moment and shear strength for the steel structure you have to use code book according to clause number 8.2.1.2 from IS 800 2007. So, by using this code book, you have to find the design bending moment and design bending strength. So, this formula is available in page number 53, clause number, clause number 8.2.1.2. So, again, here we are going to have two bending moment formulas. Why? Because as section, we are going to have two sections one is plastic elastic modulus one is elastic section modulus another one is plastic section modulus so that is the reason why we are going to have two bending moment formulas so the first bending moment formula so bending moment one so this formula is available in page number 53. So the bending moment 1 formula is nothing but beta sub xb into zp into fy divided by partial safety factor n0. So where beta sub xb is 1 for both plastic and compact section so when you are going to classify a beam it is plastic or compact directly we can assume as this value as 1 so whereas zp is nothing but plastic section modulus fi is yield stress and partial safety factor gamma m0 is nothing but 1.10 so this partial safety factor is available in table number 5 table number 5 page number 30. Now let us see the second bending moment formula. So bending moment 2. Even this bending moment 2 is also available in this code book itself. That is 1 in 8.2.1.2. So bending moment 2 that is 1.2 into Zd into Fi by partial safety factor M0. Where Zt is nothing but elastic section modulus m 
F5 is nothing but yield the stress of the material or grade of the steel. Partial safety factor M0 is nothing but 1.10 where this value is available in table number 5, page number 30 in our code book IS 800-2007. So among B, bending moment 1 and bending moment 2, so whichever is smaller, that is our design bending strength. So far we have found bending strength. Now let us see. Shear strength. Shear strength. The formula for shear strength is nothing but Vp is equal to Ap into Fy divided by root 3 into partial safety factor M0 where A is nothing but area. For hard rolled the, the area will be Ab is equal to H into T double, where H is nothing but depth of the section, T double is nothing but thickness of the bed. For welded section, this uh, the area will be D into T double. So where D is nothing but depth minus two times of thickness of the flange. So our shear strength formula, shear strength formula is available in page number 59 page number page number 59 clause number 8.4.1 from is 800 2007 so our session formula will be h into tw into f5 by root 3 into partial safety factor so there h is nothing but depth of the beam depth of the beam tw is nothing but thickness of the web fi is grade of steel or yield stress partial safety factor that is 1.10 which is available in table number 5 page number 30. So by this we have found bending moment and shear force for a structure. Now let us calculate some numerical problems from this chapter. Thank you.